Okay guys, so here we're going to do a flat dumbbell bench press, but we're actually going to do two different variations where we're working one arm at a time, okay? The first one is going to be an alternating version where we're holding two dumb dumbbells and then we're alternating between the sides that we're working and then the second one is going to be just using the one dumbbell at a time. Both have their pros and cons and we'll discuss them as we go through. So first things first, you're going to sit in the bench with your two dumbbells, kick them up to the starting position and then press the arms up to the top. So from here, what we're gonna do is work one arm at a time. So if Paddy starts with his right arm, he's keeping the left dumbbell held up and then press up again. Down one at a time, okay? So this really forces you to focus on being in control, being tight on the bench, okay? Taking your time as you come down and up. And there's just that additional element of keeping the shoulders loaded uh, through a longer period of time as you work through each repetition, okay? So this is one where it can be nice if you're coming back from shoulder injury, for example, if you're trying to just focus on maybe you have a slight change or a slight difference in range of motion each side, for example, maybe the left side, you've struggled to go down as low or you find that you need to take it a bit slower. This is a nice exercise for, for implementing that because you're able to work around it by maybe moving at different paces, moving to a different range of motion, or maybe even changing your elbow position a little bit on either side. It's just a bit easier to focus on. So not too much to it other than that. You can let one dumbbell down now and we'll show the other example. So this is the other example. Some people like it, some people don't like it so much. Um, the benefit here is that you can just focus on one side at a time. The only downside is that as you can see Paddy's leaving his arm out here because some people might feel unsteady on the bench. If you've got a cheap bench in your gym, it's not very steady, then you might find that it's more challenging because maybe the bench rocks back and forth a bit. But this is a really nice one for just having that control and training one side at a time. So you want to get a nice broad base here with your feet, staying steady, using this arm for counterbalance, and then moving up and down through your bench press motion on just the one side. The same rules apply to a standard dumbbell press where we're just going to find a nice comfortable position with the elbow where we're going to come down, we're going to come down as deep as is comfortable but we don't need to keep going all the way down you know um, and Paddy's just going to be staying tight on the bench throughout okay when you're done then you can bring the dumbbell down to your knees again and then sit up that way okay sometimes what people will do is they'll let the dumbbell just drop out to the side that's not always the safest option especially if you're using heavy dumbbells uh, so sitting up like Paddy did is probably the best option so overall guys they're nice exercises if you do need to focus on one side at a time as I said each have their merits um, and you can put them into, into practice depending on what your own needs are how strong you are the bench you have etc